Tree swallows are aerial acrobats, spending their days in constant motion. Swooping, gliding, and snatching insects mid-air with stunning agility. To get a closer look at their amazing abilities, we follow them through the heart of nesting season, when life is at its busiest. Adults sit back and forth, feeding hungry nestlings, while young swallows prepare for their first flight. With high-speed video and still photography, we've captured what's usually a blur of wings and motion and turned it into a perfectly precise moment in time. We're Russ and Tim Lehman, wildlife filmmakers and photographers on assignment for the Cornell Lab of Ornithology. And this is Wild Birds Review. OM System offers birders and nature photographers lightweight, weather-sealed gear with strong image stabilization and powerful super telephoto lenses. All built for handheld freedom to capture amazing moments. To capture great tree swallow footage, you have to keep your eyes on the sky. They're in constant motion. These swallows are amazingly fast flyers, so it's going to be a real challenge, but we're going to try to capture some stills of these birds in flight. For us, the challenge was not just keeping them in the frame, but catching that moment where the sunlight hits just right, turning their feathers into flashes of steel blue, and really getting a sense of what insects they're catching. They catch almost anything that flies, tiny nymphs, to wasps, bees, dragonflies, moths, and much more. Did I get it? I think I might have gotten it. <laughs> guys are fast. Swallows have super long pointed wings that help them fly fast like a falcon, but their broad base also gives them the agility to pivot instantly. Compare that to an eastern bluebird. Similar in size, but with shorter, rounder wings, built for maneuverability, but not speed. Both birds are songbirds, but tree swallows have evolved a totally different wing shape to fit their aerial lifestyle. Tree swallows are cavity nesters, and in many areas, cavities are in limited supply, so they take readily to nest boxes that we put out. We have some made out of tree trunks that have a special window in the back that we can put a lens in to film from. Now we also have some more traditional bird boxes made out of boards. So this is the one we just built and so we're gonna attach it to this pole here and then check up on it and hopefully in a few weeks we're gonna get some swallows nesting in it. Sure enough, when we came back a few weeks later, there were chicks in the nest. Tree swallows feed their nestlings up to 7,000 insects per day. Parents work from dawn to dusk, snatching prey on the wing then diving to the nest box to deliver the goods. It's a rhythm of flight, feed, repeat during the intense three-week period between hatching and fledging. Today, several of the chicks have fledged from this nest box and this might be one of the last ones. He's uh, hesitating. He's waiting in the in the nest opening there. Oh, he's kind of getting excited right now, popping his head out into the opening. And uh, parents have not been feeding much this morning. I think they're encouraging the chicks to come out by reducing the feeding. And 
it's pretty cool to be here and get a chance to, oh, he just got a little bite there. That's not gonna encourage him to come out. <laughs> And the little hatchling stays put for now. I guess the parents were doing too good of a job at keeping it fed. But in the coming days, we got to witness swallows both old and young beginning to group up. These young brown swallows may only be a few days out of the nest, but amazingly, they're already expert flyers, able to catch insects on their own. Outside of the breeding season, tree swallows are incredibly social birds. By mid-August, they'll be starting to join up into flocks, some numbering in the hundreds of thousands, and head off to wintering sites as far south as Panama. Capturing this story was about patience and speed, anticipating the flight path, and being ready when the action unfolds. Because when you slow down and watch swallows closely, you realize this is a whole other world playing out in midair. Thanks for tuning in to Wild Birds Revealed. Be sure to check out our other episodes on the Cornell Lab YouTube channel and the All About Birds website. You never know what you're going to see when you spend time with birds. Thank you.